Hey, what's up you guys? It's Serge coming at you again with another tech video. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to cover where we're at with the Verizon Note 3 and the 4.4.4 update. So as you may know, there's currently no root method for the Verizon Note 3. Therefore, there's no safe strap. There's no anything for 4.4.4. So if for some reason you took the over-the-air update or you flashed the newest update to your phone, you're pretty much stuck in stock for now. Here's the good news though. There is someone working on a workaround and this is what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So this workaround is called Multisystem and it's a project done by a user on XDA Developers. He's actually a, a senior member and a developer for Jasmine ROM. You might be familiar with that ROM. Um, his username on there is HSBADR, and his multi system project, as you see on the screen, uh, has the following advantages it allows you to keep root access in a safe partition, it upgrades to 4.4 and later ROMs, so he is working on ROMs uh, based on Jasmine ROM to work with this multi system project. So uh, it allows for a recovery solution to flash ROMs and mods, it installs as many ROMs as you wish, all ROMs should have the same performance, and it opens the doors to port new firmwares included N4 ROMs. So that's N4 for Note 4. Uh, also it supports many devices, uh, the main one being the Verizon Note 3 which is the N900V. So this is a really nice workaround that he has come up with. It's still currently in progress. He has it working. Uh, it's just he's trying to package it up into a more user-friendly executable. Because right now you have to be very knowledgeable in Linux. You have to know how to run certain commands to actually use this program. So he's currently working on packaging it all up so it could be as close as possible to a one-click install. Now here are some of the disadvantages that come with this multi-boot project that he's working on. Now if you don't follow the instructions carefully, you do run the risk of losing root with any little mistake that you do. And there's no way to downgrade back to 4.4.2 because it's locked. You know, once you go up to the next uh, firmware update, you're usually locked on there. It's also enforcing SEL Linux on 4.4.4 and above, uh, and he's going to be working on this later as well. Um, and if you don't know what SE Linux is, I will make a video on that pretty soon. And it also requires your device to be rooted. So you might be asking the question, if it wants us to be rooted already, how's this going to work if we can't go up to 4.4.4 and maintain root? That's where the second part of his project comes in. So the second part of his projects is the root survival and recovery solution. So he's found a workaround on how to keep root. So if you're on 4.4.2, he's found a workaround so you can keep root when you go up to 4.4.4. But of course, you have to follow the instructions to a T and it is very risky right now because you have to do a whole bunch of Linux commands and stuff. So again, it's all about packaging it right now. But rest assured that it is being worked on and it is possible. It's just all about timing and packaging it up so the common user can use it. So yeah, this is just a quick video on I just wanted to keep you in the loop what's happening, what we have to look forward to instead of just having nothing but questions and not knowing what's coming. So I just wanted to make this video so you know what's going on. I know a lot of people are left in the dark if you've upgraded to 4.4.4. So this video is for you guys. Just keep calm. It will happen. Hopefully you're on 4.4.2 and good things are soon to come. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'm at twitter.com forward slash surge rises. All right, guys. So that's it for now. I'll see you on the next one.